Alrighty, so hopefully you enjoyed that uh, drone footage. Um, so I'll go over quickly uh, the drone footage and then we'll go into the construction update. So don't go because it gets really exciting. Well, hopefully it's exciting. It's exciting for me. Um, so basically um, from above, you can't really see much from the drone. You can make out the new path and the theming. Uh, you can see Lakeside Lagoon and Splashworks really well. That looks awesome. Um, and I always forget how bloody beautiful Canada's Wonderland looks. Um, with all these trees. Um, the park is just gorgeous, especially up here. So um, I, I flew my drone. I flew my drone at 8.30 in the morning, so there were no guests, don't worry. I would never fly my drone during park operating hours. Um, in fact, I will not fly my drone like uh, 9 a.m. or later. So in this footage, you can make out um, not too much, pretty much like uh, you can see kind of like the footers in the station area and Lakeside Lagoon. Um, and just how pretty the park is. This is why my drone will probably go up maybe like once a month at most um, and at eight in the morning. But this is where it gets really interesting. So I just noticed this. So see that pylon there? Column 81 right or column 81 right, sorry. So column 81 right is on one of these um, pylons and I didn't notice, but the pylons were littered all over the land and they literally mark where footers are going. So, um, based off of this, I searched through a lot of pylons. You're going to see that on this. I have, I think I got up to like 90 something, column 90 something. So, so far, all we know is that uh, this coaster is going to have 91 columns so far. It could have more, but from what I can see, 91 columns. And wait till you see a ton of rebar was being delivered again. Even more rebar. And I do know, I can confirm now that they do make the rebar cages on site. So see those rebar cages? So here you have column seven over on the other side. So that's column seven, that's working column seven. It hasn't been made yet, but obviously it's gonna be made soon. So their pylons do indicate um, where footers are gonna go, which is interesting. And I can't believe I didn't clue into that sooner. Um, so this helps with um, kind of me making a footer map, which I'll do, I'll make an updated footer map of where everything's gonna go. And maybe we can come up with a better layout now. And then I'm gonna have Eastern Thrills make up a uh, mock um, coaster prediction with the updated footer map but this is so exciting so not only that they are starting to dig something and wait do you see this footage um, so I think that one is column 51 left if I'm not mistaken it was really hard to see it looked like column 51 um, there's column 91 left and this is interesting column 51 left was in the station area so I didn't think the coaster would head back to the station area and then back around, but it appears if these pylons are in their right position, which I do think they are, I can't see why they wouldn't be, um, indicate the footers. And that's really interesting to see that column 51 is kind of near the station area. We do know there's some weird footers over um, kind of behind Windseeker on the Skyrider plot of land still, not on Windseeker's plot of land, but behind Windseeker on Skyrider's plot of land, so I was a little weirded out by those and I didn't make sense of those, but I guess this kind of helps that. So the coaster will eventually head back over here and then head back to Timberwolf because there's column 91 on Timberwolf area. So it's like, I'm so confuzzled, um, but this is awesome. And it's helping me get a better idea of the coaster layout. And I do think this is going to be a really long dive coaster if it's a dive coaster. I was not expecting this many columns. Um, I'm going to quickly, and I wish I'd done it before filming this, count how many columns were on Val Raven. And um, I couldn't make that one out, but that looks like 114 or 104 or 84, right? 84 right, it looks like. Um, so that's column 84 right, and that is column 85, right or left? Column 51, so that's column 51, right or left. Um, so um, when the when the path opens on Saturday, you know damn well I'm going to be there filming and getting a better shot of columns and where they are. Um, I can't. I'm just so excited. I figured that out today. So um, again, I will make a footer map and I will post it to Instagram as soon as I do. Um, so here they are using a water pressure system to dig the holes for. Um, the Canadiana theming fence. So the fencing is going in and they were cleaning the land. So all this junk you see on the land was removed while I was filming. So the land has been cleaned and cleared and all objects removed from it, which is interesting in my opinion. 
Um, I don't know if they're going to lay down sod and then kind of stop construction on this plot of land, or if they're getting ready to bulldoze. They might be getting ready to bulldoze the land because we I saw on the station side they bulldozed the land and then did the footers. So that's what they probably are doing. Um, that or just getting ready to leave. Now, okay, so this is what I was talking about. So we have a digger in there. It's <laughs> really deep digging what is definitely at this point the um, lift hill. The lift hill is located near Mindbuster, right near the station, so I can now tell, which I predicted, the station has a turn out of the station, right near Mindbuster's entrance, right there, so there's probably the first part of the turn out of the station. Heads in right next to the splash pad in Splashworks, and the lift hill will start, ex um, I was about to say accelerating, <laughs> accelerating up the lift, so inclining up the lift. Um, and uh, I do know, well, I, have a feeling where the lift hill ends, which you'll see in the next clip. Um, there's the biggest footer on the plot of land and it has the most amount of kind of like connectors, I guess you would call them. <coughs> Coughed, choked on air, I need to learn how to breathe. Um, the most amount of connectors to connect to the support. So that's a definitely a high stress moment. And I'm assuming that is the top of the lift. And I think that's a fair assumption from what I've been told. Um, so here you can definitely see again that they're digging the start of the lift here comes more rebar cages because you know we don't have enough it's already a massive pile there um and even more come after that <laughs> so i have no clue um what's going on they're clearly gearing up to do a lot in that area so obviously the lift hill is going well not being installed soon but um they're going to be working on it so this is that footer i was talking about so um again I, I'm gonna make a really updated footer map. I'm gonna do the lift hill measurements and everything because I think I have a, a very good analysis of where this lift hill is gonna be located and how long it's gonna be. And using math, figure out how high this could potentially be as you saw in my video yesterday. Um, so th here's just some more shots of the um, beginning of the lift hill. Again, it's extremely deep. It's definitely a high stress moment. And uh, just some shots of the station and the turnout of the station right there. So that's going to be a footer. Um, but yeah, um, I, what do you guys think? Do you think that um, what I've been saying about a 270 something foot tall lift hill on this coaster and then a 300 foot drop with the tunnel being about 30 feet deep could be true? Do you honestly think that um, Canada's one and could be looking at a giga dive or something coaster coming in 2019? because it's really starting to add up. And myself was not a full believer in my theories. I was just finding evidence that was a little bit uh, weird to me and I was just reporting on it. And I was kind of like, yeah, there's no way we would get a Giga Dive coaster. Um, but now I'm like, are they seriously thinking about installing a Giga Dive coaster at Kenan's Wonderland? Um, I'm gonna try and find as much evidence as possible. I'm still not 100% sold on it myself. I'm just finding things leading me in that direction. So again, using current math, as you saw in my um, videos the other day, 277 feet is I think what we came up with with the current calculations. Um, so 277 feet tall or 272 feet tall. And then you have about a 30 foot deep tunnel, which leads you to about a 300 foot drop or um, yeah, drop into the tunnel, um, which is crazy. So here comes even more rebar cages. <laughs> we didn't have enough, we needed more. Um, so this definitely looks like it's for the lift hill the base of the lift hill. They're very square, they're very large, um, and the hole they're digging is very square and very large. So definitely the um, the lift hill slash pre-lift of this, what I'm gonna call dive coaster. Um, and yeah, and I, I think I have the end of the lift hill. So I think uh, I'm gonna do a bunch of calculations, get some people to help me out, and we're gonna make a mock layout with Eastern Thrills of a dive coaster, because this is super exciting. Um, other than that, uh, th there wasn't too much going on. So again, they're digging the lift hill. That's going to take a while. Concrete from what I, um, or cement from what I've been told, takes about 28 days to cure once poured for a, um, for a coaster. They like it to uh, fully dry and kind of cure before putting in supports. So once we see cement go in, I was told to pretty much count 28 days after that. And that's when you might see, you know, the lift hill pieces coming in and supports coming in to be placed um, as well. So that's some pretty exciting information in itself. Um, um, what were some other things that I was told? Um, 
I'm trying to think. I saw. So by the way, guys, um, I'm really trying to become like um, super knowledgeable in what I'm talking about. Um, you guys are really enjoying my updates, and I want to try my best to provide you with the best information possible. So I've been reaching out to a couple of construction companies and people in engineering to kind of, you know, figure out and help me figure out what's going on here and what's going on in other parks. So for example, I'll use the Carowinds update I did yesterday. So we saw a lot of water piping. Um, and when I reached out to someone, I used some of those pictures to help me analyze what could be going on in construction sites. And a lot of the times when we see stuff like that, it's redirecting um, water from a specific area that it may already be in to a different area of the park and also prepping um, or replacing old water systems in the park as well or for example Carowinds and you have Copperhead Strike it could be because they're bringing in a lot of water features in that area um, like a waterfall or maybe like a fake like lake or swamp or something like that because Copperheads are um, prominent in that area so there's a lot I'm learning because I want to if I see things on a construction site I want to be able to kind of digest what they could be for um, so I'm definitely reaching out to people um, and learning more about construction and the terms and all that and I really appreciate you guys commenting down below and helping me out with that um, it, it, like I really want to become super knowledgeable in this um, area as I'm going to be reporting on a lot of construction projects across North America and I don't want to sound like a dummy. <laughs> but yeah, let's get back to the construction project. So, um, again, you have not a lot of work on Timberwolf's side done at all yet. So we noticed that footers are not poured on Timberwolf's side. There's pylons marked for what kind of column they are, just pushed off to the side, because I assume they're about to bulldoze. That's what I'm assuming. They removed all the pylons that specify like column 81, column 94, column 51, and they moved them off to the side for now, and they're clearing all junk. I'm talking about every little bit of metal wiring um, objects removed. You see I'm doing it right there. We're, they're removing everything from this pot of land. They're installing the Canadian fencing. So I don't know if they're going to lay down sod and pause construction or if they're getting ready to bulldoze. I have no clue. So I'll be there every day. You know that. I have no life. My life is theme parks and Cedar Fair. <laughs> so I'll be there. I'll be watching closely. It doesn't look like construction is going to ramp down. It looks like it's still going. I mean, they're digging the lift hill. But I don't know if this side is going to pause until fall. Um, it's a very small size. I mean, if they get the lift hill done, they already have the station done. If they get that lift hill foundations in and all that, they're already miles ahead for a dive coaster on this project. And I mean, there are rumors of a second tunnel. I do not see any evidence of a second tunnel on this construction project yet. And the person that I'm using to help me figure out what's going on in this construction project does not see any evidence of a second tunnel either. Um, so at this point, I'm not going to call a second tunnel just yet, but there is some weird markings between Timberwolf and Whitewater Canyon. So we're going to pay close attention to that because the markings do represent digging um, and dig here elements. And there is, as you can see in this clip, more construction fencing not up yet and ready to be put up. So we think that there, this might be going up in the Whitewater Canyon area, um, but we'll be playing we will be paying close attention and I will be there Saturday first thing because there are a couple things I want to check out that we saw. There might be a teaser in that area. Um, I want to check out the pylons with all the codes on them. And I want to check out some of the spray paint markings as I'll be able to figure out what they're for. So I wanted to put this clip in here. Um, I, by the way, I'm working on a documentary for this coaster. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing like... Um, a whole documentary from day one, you know, when the drone went up to the final product. And I wanted to put this clip in here because it's going to kind of, you know, touch on the, you know, a lot of the attention to the details that a lot of people don't know that go into building a new area and a coaster. Um, so it, it's a lot of work that goes into just a fence and or the smallest details that, you know, we overlook when a coaster and area is being built. Um, so those are kind of the things that you can look for um, forward to in my video. Like I really want to make it an all out video. Um, so in here, um, so it's not a retheme of the Splash Ricks building like I originally thought it may be. It looks like they're just touching it up, replacing old wood and giving it a touch up on paint. Good. That's super awesome. It was much needed. It was chipping and all that. It looks great. So that's awesome to see. It matches with the, the Timber Kids building right next door to it. So I knew the roof wasn't going to get repainted. Um, but that's awesome. Um, from what I've heard, um, Barracuda Blaster um, from Ryan Roller Coaster, he told me that the sign has changed and the logo is now a canoe. Um, very interesting to this whole rumors of Splashworks being rethemed to, you know, the whole Canadiana vibe itself. 
Um, so we're definitely seeing evidence of Splash Works becoming a Canadian kind of themed splash area. And we'll probably continue to see that happening slowly from for the next like three to five years. I don't think they're gonna go full out and just retheme Splashworks over one year. I think we're seeing evidence that it's gonna continuously be a project over the next three to five years and everything will be rethemed eventually. I do think Splashworks will have a name change eventually. I think the surfboard theme is gonna go and Canadiana is just gonna bloom in Splashworks and it's gonna look fantastic. I am not hating this Canadiana. Um, theming that I'm seeing all over the park, even if it is being overdone, I absolutely love it and I could not get more of it. Um, I could, <laughs> um, but yeah, here, so again, not much going on. They're just cleaning up the construction site. I do have some exciting clips coming up, so stay tuned, don't worry. Um, I'm trying to think of what else is happening over here that I remember and what I've been told. So we know they're digging the, the posts for the Canadian uh, theming. I do not see an entry area for trucks, which is why I thought, okay, maybe construction is coming to an end. And they put up fencing for humans, like regular GP. You see the black fencing along the lake that they put up, and now they're putting up this Canadian theming. So I'm thinking, and, and call me out if you disagree, but maybe we might see teasers in here. Maybe they're gonna put up, you know, the Canadian Canadiana theming fence. They have the protect you right there, the general public fencing to prevent people from getting too close to the water. Maybe construction will will not continue on this specific pot of land until fall. They're probably just gonna focus on the lift hill area, and they're already miles ahead, so there isn't much work to be done. I know they can't be operating around Timberwolf as that's a safety issue, so that's not gonna happen either. So it's very interesting as to what we're gonna see. Is construction gonna stop? Is it gonna slow down? Or is it gonna go full force still just on the other side of the land? It's hard to figure out because there is a lot of dust being kicked up when they're doing construction and Splashworks is right there. So that may be, you know, like an eyesore to the general public and maybe that's not what they wanna do. So I wanted to get this shot of the tunnel because this is definitely going to be one of the longest tunnels on a coaster in the world. I know there are longer, but this is definitely a super long tunnel and the drone footage and all my footage before never did it justice. And even this clip doesn't do it full justice. This tunnel goes underwater, it goes under land and it comes up on an elevation. I can see why the tunnel took so long to build. It's definitely a big project. So this is um, my next thing on my topic of discussion. So you have the Mountain Cafe or Mountainside Bakery, whatever, I forget what it's called. But from what I'm hearing, this is not going to be here next year. I'm hearing that this, um, whatever element coming out of the tunnel, whatever element they choose, is actually going to be the end of the Mountainside Bakery and Cafe. Um, so I can't confirm fully because again, we this is all speculation and until the park says something, nothing what I say is true. Um, but I am hearing and it does make sense that uh, the Mountainside Cafe could be on its last year. I mean, it is hardly ever open this season alone. So it, I, I, I don't know if it'd be missed, they can move it and yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the update. Thanks for watching. Um, like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and share it for other people to enjoy on and uh, speculate what's coming in 2019. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.